Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. Sapporo Berman of Stand Earth just sent out an email from COP25 in Madrid. Sapporo has been called the number one enemy of the Canadian oil sands by Chatelaine magazine. And that's because she's widely recognized as the leader of the foreign-funded tar sands campaign to destroy our industry. The tar sands campaign is a real thing funded by foreign entities as a green trade war against Canada and used as a lever to demonize fossil fuels worldwide as dirty. To help you understand how we've all been misled by these foreign-funded saboteurs, Friends of Science Society has released a new report entitled Fear and Loathing, which summarizes how Alberta's oil sands went from being a national treasure to an international pariah. Over a hundred international groups were coordinated by corporate ethics to destroy Alberta's reputation for investors, banks, and insurance companies, to turn people away from being fans of good paying jobs and proudly Canadian energy into self-loathing anti-oil fanatics. And now over a hundred thousand Canadians are out of work. But global oil sands competitors enjoy a booming business. We don't. But for Sephora, destroying the Alberta oil sands and people's lives, that's not enough. Now she's set her sights on destroying the global oil industry. She proposes a fossil fuel non-proliferation treaty. Think about this for a moment. The world presently runs on more than 80% fossil fuels. The rest of our energy comes from hydro, nuclear, burning wood and dung, perhaps 2% from renewables. After 40 years and trillions of dollars in subsidies, wind and solar barely supply a few percent of world energy. And even renewables are made from vast quantities of oil, natural gas, and coal. So obviously, Zipporah is talking crazy talk on energy, and she's also talking crazy talk on climate. Nearly a thousand scientists have publicly declared that there is no climate emergency. The Clintel group of scientists and professionals have sent their statement and scientific explanation to the UN and they've met with the EU Parliament. One third of the EU Parliament voted against any climate emergency declaration after hearing the facts. So who is behind Sephora's crazy ideas that we can do without oil, natural gas and coal? Well, probably the same people who think it's sane to trade carbon credits, which entails the lack of delivery of an invisible substance to no one. It's time to unfriend ENGOs. It's time for common sense on climate and energy policies. There is no climate emergency and no need for carbon taxes because carbon dioxide is not the control knob on climate change. So read our new report, Fear and Loathing. Say no to foreign-funded tar sands campaigners. Say no to Tsipora's crazy talk on climate. Say no to CO2 coercion. It's time for common sense on climate and energy policies. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling. <laughs>